I've been wanting to do more painting videos and kind of show my process a little bit more. So a lot of you guys really liked the time-lapse drawings I've been posting on my Facebook page and on my Instagram. So here we go with one of my bigger paintings. Thank you. All right, so here I am preparing my palette and I'm gonna start with red. I'm just gonna go ahead, um, there's my sketch. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and I am filling in the whole canvas and I'm gonna go ahead and go over the sketch of the figure that I have during this step because I need to develop the background fully before I can have the foreground and the figure come back. So I'm gonna get rid of him for now, but don't worry, he's coming back. And I am starting to build more shadow and uh, I start with really intense colors and then kind of push and pull back and forth to make them a little bit more realistic and then make them a little crazy again. Some paintings I go a little bit crazier with the colors and some paintings I try to stay um, a little bit more neutral. But even in my really colorful paintings there are really large areas of neutral colors. So the reason for having neutral colors is that um, it balances the very intense ones by adding a contrast. So when you put a bright color next to a neutral color, your bright color is going to look brighter and your neutral color is going to look um, less bright, more neutral, less saturated. So that's an important reason why um, color creates space. As you can see, the more intensity and the more contrast I add to the cliff face that is jutting towards us and the more neutral colors and grayed out colors that I add to the background, the farther away the background gets and the closer to us this cliff face gets. And that's kind of how you have to create space in a painting. Thank you for watching and I hope you join me to finish this painting.